Let's get you connected to a higher now that witnesses the emotions. Let's get you connected to the now that witnesses the emotions. There's a, an amazing thing that happens for me when I'm not eating, where I get to the end of the day and I notice at five to seven, I really crave certain food. And then what happens is I don't eat anything. And then I go to bed and I wake up freer than I've ever felt. Every morning that I fasted the day before, I watch as it builds up and it's this emotion thing, but now I've done it so much, I know that's passing. So now I, it's not nearly as painful because if you're in the longer term process, it's just like, yeah, it just I crave it, but I know it'll be gone. And you start to get more connected to the passing energy than the emotions themselves. And sometimes the emotions will show up big and you just sit there with the, I know what's going on. This is part of a pendulum thing. And then you wake up freer than ever. You can do this with any of your addictions. If you were a smoker, you know, and you were, you have to have a cigarette and you have the, all those emotions come up, right? I really, really, really need this thing. And you just know that's passing. You have to get really here, right? You have to get really, really, really here. You have your headache, have your neediness, have your feeling like no one cares about you, have your darkness and go to bed and wake up. You often wake up to God. Like you wake up to so much more you because that energy passed. And what did you do? You connected to the witness of the passing energy. So the passing energy wasn't you. You were the witness. So you start to expand your consciousness to becoming the witness of everything. And then an emotion comes up. And when an emotion comes up, you have to ask yourself, okay, Am I being tricked into thinking this emotion is me? Do you get what I'm saying? The emotion's coming up. If you get caught in what the emotion's saying, screw it, I'm going to go eat, or I want this person to get me, or whatever, okay, you just moved from the emotion. But if you can let the emotion come up and swirl around you, and you get so present and slowly break off and become the witness of the emotion, it's like the emotion's grabbing at you, grabbing at you, grabbing at you, and then it just collapses. Because you're the one that sees it with love, with presence. And life is trying to get you to a presence that is so big that it will not release the motion until you're there. In other words, you can't just sit there and picture an outcome later and repress an emotion. It goes, no, the only way for me to transcend this emotion is to be completely now. And I don't even get to trick the universe and be like, is this now enough? Will it please go away? Do you get what I'm saying? I can't be like, okay, is this now enough? Will it go away? No, that's, that's me trying to trick the universe. The universe is like, if you want to get rid of this, you need to become the now. And you don't get to decide when that is. You have to fall into me. You have to wait and then just there'll be a moment where it breaks off. All of your emotions will break off if you allow yourself to become the now. All that it's trying to do is get you to become the complete now. You can't, at one point, you can't get rid of your emotions through motivation, right? Like, oh, I feel off, but it'll be there tomorrow. And you're sitting in there and there's one denial of energy with this kind of hope for the future. At one point, you will literally feel that emotion up against another competing emotion putting you in the future. And it goes, okay, now, <laughs> now I need you to become the now. Like literally you're trying to heal this at the same frequency of what the emotion is. So when you find yourself trying to outwit it and come up with a solution and do something else or justify or whatever, it doesn't work. It goes, nope, you will do nothing. And when you finally become complete now, the emotion will have nothing to grab onto. And you'll start to feel, you'll start to feel tears. You'll start to feel gratitude because the now doesn't have an opinion. It's just love, but it's not the love you're used to. The now just is love. One of the things you're going to learn in this process is love is not a verb. 
Love is now. It's much calmer than the fallen love love that movies and love songs and everything created. That's codependency, not love, right? That high that you get, you think you're so in love at the beginning. No, 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 no. That's not love. I swear to God. That's my attachment issue is healed for a second. That's finally dad sees me. That's finally my mom gets me. And the reason those highs often become massive lows is because the universe says, if you want to stay in this relationship, you're going to have to move into the true now. You cannot just move based on highs and insane lows, right? It goes, I need you to learn the now that's here, not positive, the now that's here not a high, not the in love that feels the same as a drug to people. I'm talking about the nowy now. This now is unconditional love. This space is unconditional love and life is trying to merge you with it. And when your emotions pendulum, they're showing you, you are believing in a different kind of love where you're trying to love something to get rid of it. Oh, this emotion's here. I'm going to love it. Oh, okay, I'm loving you. Why aren't you gone? Not love. And that might have been the highest love you understood a day before yesterday, but now you're here to just get here. You're just here to learn the now love. And eventually this is where you're going to end up, right? This now is the love. So it's trying to get you off of this high low, thinking a low isn't love and a high is love. It's now. This now is the witness of all that is. So when you're on this thing, you know, you're fasting or you're letting go of a thing, the pendulum is showing you just so you know, you think love is a verb. You're trying to love it to get rid of it, right? Love is not a verb. It's what everything is. It's what you are. And the idea that you have of love is actually the escape from real love. Do you get that? The idea that you have of love is an escape from what love actually is. This now is love. This now can hear you better than anything. You could tell this now anything and it will just be there for you. You could tell it anything you think you're as terrible about you or what someone did to you. And it will just sit here like a tree and just be with you. This now loves you. But if you're in the high low thing, okay, I'm going to try and love it. Watch me be. That's not love. And that might be your journey for right now. But when you do something in the long term, the only way that this thing is going to actually work is for you to continually become more and more and more now. And all of the patterns in your body will fall off if you listen from now versus listen from goals to get rid of it, listen from overcoming it, listen to, to push it away, listen to, to win, the idea of winning. And this is why sometimes you can pendulum because you might associate love to a high, right? So if you win in Vegas, you feel really loved, right? or you get that relationship the way you want it, you feel really loved. So now you're in a false love that all of society has painted as the true love. Now you're in Disney love, right? You're in this kind of everything's going well, so I'm loved. I'm getting all the Facebook likes for what I posted, so I'm loved. Oh, a bunch of people bought my thing, so I'm loved. I'm doing the thing that I want to do, so I'm loved. <sighs> Meanwhile, the space is here, like, I love you even if you don't do that, but you're not receiving that. You still have wiring that says, when I do the thing, I'll be loved. So you're creating a job that chases invisible love based on your childhood. Your childhood says, your love for what you do, right? Your childhood says you're loved 
or your dad or mom shames you if you don't get straight A's or whatever it is, or the American dream is just, you got to get the job and work your love for what you do. So you left what's here and stopped receiving the love that's here that you had as an infant and chase the conditional bullshit love that isn't you. And now life is doing what it can to get you back to the love that you are. So you start feeling this love, even if everyone else seems to not like you. You feel this love if you fail at everything. You feel this love if you're broke. You feel this love if you don't know what to do with your life. You feel this love if you think you're wasting your life. You feel this love if you think you have a purpose or don't have a purpose. This is purpose. Connecting to this love is purpose. And this is why the long term of meditating and then letting the emotions pendulum will force you into the true love that you are. No action can get you out of your pain, but becoming what this space is will cause no pain to have anything to be against. The pain has nothing to be against if you're this space. And you will realize you're loved because you are loved. Hey, it's Kyle. And I'm in a really excited mood because I've decided today that I'm going to very soon no longer be doing private one-on-ones. And the reason for that is I want to put all my energy into the absolutely everything pass. I've decided to create a new series called Hot Seat. It's going to be some Tuesday mornings, but it's basically a private one-on-one -on -one except for it's in front of all of us. And it's so exciting because it's an opportunity for you to experience what I get to experience, which is when doing the one-on-one, -on -one, I learn so many lessons and find bizarre synchronicities to what the person's going through is what I'm going through. It's almost as if we're in a collective energy where we're all going through the same thing, just in different clothes. So I've decided to create a series that I'm adding to the Absolutely Everything Pass called Hot Seat. It'll be some Tuesday mornings, other Tuesday mornings, we will have Dr. Kim DeRamo doing her amazing work, helping people connect to their body, higher levels of health, so many different things. We now have two It's Totally Possibles, a Sunday one, uh, oneness call, Wednesday night AEP call, uh, team meditation, daily videos, and we're going to be doing another two full day event the end of July. And the most exciting thing about this is if you get it now, you can be grandfathered in at 29 for life because August 1st, anyone who signs up after that, it's gonna be $79 a month. So if you get it before August 1st or you're in there now, just know that stay there and you can stay there as long as you want at $29 a month. And the reason is because we are putting all of our energy into the Absolutely Everything Pass. And I'm, I'm so freaking excited to see where this goes and create this new series hot seat. So join us, join us. There's one coming up very soon. Dr. Kim DeRamo's this coming Tuesday. I have a oneness call Sunday, a Wednesday call, breath work Thursday. There's too many things. Join us. Let's, let's, let's just do this.